This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to install and upgrade processors in a Dell Precision T7610 workstation. Um, if you've never heard of GreenPCGamers.com, we specialize in upgrading uh, Dell Precision workstations uh, to maximize them uh, for gaming. But the upgrades that we do, you could use them for pretty much anything because we basically point out the high-end components that you can install into these systems um, to make them run as, as fast as they can possibly run. So definitely check out our site. In this case, search on the blog T7610. It'll show you some really awesome upgrades and bookmark the page if you ever do any other upgrades. And it's all free content. All right, so before you upgrade your processors, you want, you should update your BIOS, okay? Um, and if you've never done this before, you can go to Dell.com support page, enter your service tag, and it should bring up your Precision T7610 workstation. And there's a little tool that'll allow you to analyze your system and it'll do all the updates that you need. So go ahead and do that before you upgrade your processors. Okay, so, our existing processors were two Intel quad-core Xeon E52603 V2 Prox. Now they're only running at 1.8 gigahertz, um, 10 meg, 6.4 GTS. So we want to get those above 3.3 gigahertz. T typically for gaming, we want to be as close to 4 gigahertz as we can be. Um, but these processors, um, the E52643 uh, V1 Prox that we're going to install, um, they're at a really good price point. They're about $50 a piece on the aftermarket, and they are going to run at a max turbo frequency at 3.5 gigahertz. We've got the step code just in case you want to copy this upgrade. It's SR0L7. Now, you will notice that these processors are typically installed in like a T3600 or a 5600 or a 7600, but they do work in the 7610 as well, and the price is right. So if you're trying to do an upgrade on a budget, these are great procs to upgrade. Okay, so here's our T7610 that we are going to upgrade. And we've got the processors on top of the chassis. Uh, we've got our Shinetsu MicroSci uh, heat paste or thermal grease. This stuff is the best. It works really, really well. Here's our one of our processors. We'll just show you one so you can take a look at what they look like. Uh, step code SR07, as we said before. And that is what we are going to install. So first step to install those procs is we do have to remove the existing processors. So go ahead and pull your side panel off. You just lift this lever and pull up. Should pop off fairly easily. And as you can see, we've already done some upgrades for gaming. We've got our GTX 1080 graphics card in there, uh, but we just need to upgrade the processors. So those are our two heat sinks. And it, so there's eight screws that you're gonna have to loosen up. Plus you're gonna have to remove the fans that are hooked into those heat sinks. So there's some Molex connectors on the motherboard. And once you do that, you can remove those heat sinks. Now, we're going to backtrack a little bit here. The memory are cover, the memory slots are covered by these two plastic shrouds. So we had to pull those off because it makes it a lot easier to remove the heat sinks. So they pull off like so. Um, you can rewind and fast forward to see how we did that. There's just basically two blue clips. You push in on them and you pull those, those memory shrouds right off. So do that before you um, loosen the heat sinks, but here's how we remove the fans. And this one, uh, it's, we'll have to use two hands, so we're gonna fast forward. So uh, we'll fast forward after we remove the two heat sinks. Uh, we have our existing processors installed. So there's two retention clips, and then there's a bracket that we have to pull off to remove these processors. So take your time when you do this, be very careful. And definitely take your time not to drop anything into those pin slots. If you do drop something in there, you're most likely going to have to replace your system board. Those pins are very, very fragile. So, But yeah, watch the video, rewind, fast forward, see how we do this. 
and it'll make life a lot easier. So we've got our two processors removed. Those are the E5 2603 V2s. And again, here's the processor that we are going to replace both of those processors with. So line it up right. Um, there's four little dimples, as you can see on the right side there. We line it up, they fit in place perfectly, left and right side. And once you do that, you'll be able to put these retention clips on really, really easily, like so. And you do have to put the bottom one on first, otherwise the top one will not clip in. All right, so we've got CPU one installed, and now we'll do CPU two. Now we're doing two procs. So what that does is that unlocks all the memory slots as well. So if you do want to upgrade your memory, this is a great time to do that. If you only have one proc installed, you can only use CPU one memory slots. Okay, like so, both clips go in and they're locked in. At this point, we have to put our heat paste on. Um, and again, we use the Shinetsu Microsci uh, heat paste. This is a one gram syringe and this is a little more than we need for two processors. So I'll drop like a pen cap down right in the middle of the processor. And you don't need to spread it around. What's gonna happen is when you install your heat sinks, it will heat up and it will evenly spread that thermal grease or that heat paste through uh, right over that processor. Um, so you don't have to spread it around at all. And, and in fact, you don't wanna touch that stuff because it just, it, it's a mess. All right, so you gotta put your heat sinks back on just like when we removed them. There are four screws and remember to install your processor fans, the connectors. If you don't do it, it'll tell you on post. It should halt and say, you know, CPU fan one or two is not installed and then should halt. So it'll give you time to, to reinstall as if you forget. So again, eight screws, I don't recommend using a drill. I normally use uh, just a standard Phillips and that way you don't uh, over torque them and then break the screws because you do want those locked in really well to, uh, to help reduce that, that heat on those processors. Keep those procs nice and cool. Okay, so we'll fast forward. We've, we've screwed those in and now we need to put our memory shrouds back on. And they clip in really, really easily. Go left side first, and then, as you can see, there's a little spot where that, that tab goes in. And go ahead and push them right down. They clip right into place. Okay, so our processor upgrade is, is, is installed. Now we, all we have to do is put our side panel back on and plug our system back in. And these are plug and play. Like I said, if you did your BIOS update, you're gonna be in really good shape. There's gonna be no microcard issues. So this is the F2 setup. So you can, if you wanna get into this, you can tap F2. Now we're running uh, BIOS A17, which is the latest currently. Um, so we'll scroll down into in the BIOS system information and we'll see that our two processors are installed and they are working perfectly uh, so far. Uh, we're also going to boot into Windows 10 and just verify that we're not getting any yellow exclamation points or driver update issues with these processors. So, and because of our BIOS update, we shouldn't have any problems, uh, but we're gonna verify that either way. So again, two processors installed. If you're not getting video at this point, um, it's because the processors most likely aren't installed properly um, or um, you didn't update the BIOS first and there's no microcode issue. So, all right, so we, uh, we booted into Windows 10 here. We're gonna go into the device manager uh, we do have some other missing updates, but we're not too worried about those right now. We're going to go and find processors, and there we go. We see it. We're seeing our eight physical cores, E52643 processors. We'll go into system, and we can scroll down, and we see that our two processors are installed. Again, everything's working Working as planned, a nice little upgrade from 1.8 gigahertz to, th to 3.3 gigahertz. Um, then everything is working very, very well. All right, so if you like what you saw there, please subscribe to this uh, page. 
Uh, can't sell, can't spell subscribe right, but please subscribe. If you have live questions, um, you can follow me on Twitch, uh, jbigticket23, and I'm happy to answer any live questions. I'm going to take it quick to greenpcgamers.com, and so you can take a look at what you're missing if you haven't been to this page. Go to the blog page, search T7610. Here are a bunch of other awesome upgrade ideas, and we'll post additional videos as we make them. Uh, but definitely check this out. Thank you so much for watching.